You know the feeling you get when you've got something awesome and you add something to it and it makes it better? Like having cake with ice cream or being on a tropical beach eating ice cream. Well, we all know how amazing Volkswagens are. You get your standard Golf, which is stylish. You get your GTI, which is fast. And then you get your Volkswagen Golf R. Now that's the ice cream. If you're searching for an almost perfectly cultivated balance of speed, power, style and drivability, then the Volkswagen Golf R has got to be at the top of your list. Now this is the most powerful and fastest Volkswagen on the market today. And I don't mean the fastest Golf, I mean the fastest Volkswagen. Since its previous model, it's been changed a little bit, the roof line's been lifted, the wheelbase is a little bit longer, and it sits lower to the ground for added stability. And already from here, I can tell this is a very, very well-designed car. Of course, there's all the features you'd expect on a Golf these days. Unique 19-inch alloy wheels that you only can find on the R, bi-xenon headlights and LED taillights those beautiful sounding double chrome tailpipes and even glossy black grille and air intake manifolds that just finish the look of the R off. As good as all that is on the outside, it's what you can't see that is the big surprise. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about its drive, I'm talking about its handling, I'm talking about the engine and I'm talking about the transmission because all of them work perfectly and deliver a drive that is second to none. The power plant under the bonnet is a two-litre, four-cylinder turbo that puts out 206 kilowatts, thanks in part to the new valves, new piston, new exhaust cam, and higher-flowing turbocharger. What it means is a face-melting five seconds, zero to 100, and the thumping sound it makes will make anyone smile. As good as the reworked engine is in the new Golf R, it's Volkswagen's four motion all wheel drive system that takes this car to a brand new level. You see, it's like a very sophisticated traction control system. If you need the driving force in the rear wheels, the car transfers the energy there. And when you return to cruising mode, it spreads the power out between all four wheels. I've got to tell you, the people at Volkswagen, they're very smart. You can even select between several different driving modes, including individual, comfort, race and eco that switches up the ride feel, handling response and fuel consumption depending on which one you choose. And speaking of eco, the Golf R is a surprisingly light drinker, averaging just 7.1 litres per 100 k's. And the interior is exactly what you'd expect. There's leather everywhere, highlights of chrome, you get your big touch screen, beautiful steering wheel which I absolutely love and my favourite thing is you get these sport shifter paddles on the steering wheel so you can feel like Daniel Ricciardo. Volkswagen seem to be going with a sporty meets luxury feel and if that is the case then they've hit the nail on the head. You feel sucked into your comfortable seats and in control with the D-shaped steering wheel and all of this is in style. So if you're like me and constantly impressed with everything that Volkswagen does, the new art will not let you down. If it's time to add some ice cream into your life, make sure you get in and see our friends at Wangara Volkswagen. Go to wangaravolkswagen.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. Hmm.